that there will be many who will come to him on judgment day calling him Lord but will not be allowed to enter into heaven. When we really take a look at Matthew 7, 21 through 23, these were people that were convinced that Jesus was their Lord and Savior, but Jesus didn't know them. These were probably people who attended church regularly, people who read their Bibles, maybe sang in the choir, maybe taught Sunday school, or even possibly were a pastor of a church. People who accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, but were not granted access into the kingdom of heaven. Why? What was the reason why they could not enter into heaven? And more importantly, how can we know that we are not among those who will be cast into hell on Judgment Day? This film was made to show you what the Bible clearly says about Judgment Day about who will go to heaven and who will end up in hell. Revelation 20, 12 through 13, I saw the dead, both great and small, standing before God's throne, and the books were opened, including the book of life. And the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. The sea gave up its dead, and death and the grave gave up their dead, and all were judged according to their deeds. Matthew 16 verse 27 For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to to his works. 1 Peter 1 verse 17, And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. After taking a look at these three passages, we see very clearly that we are going to be judged by what we have done. We are going to be judged by our deeds or our works. But notice something. Nowhere in these passages say that we are going to be judged by what we believed. None of these passages say we are going to be judged by our beliefs, but rather our actions. Now this is the part that is most important, so please listen carefully. Titus 1 verse 16, they profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. Many profess that they know God, but they deny Him by their works. They, as the verse says, are disobedient to God. They don't obey His commandments and they commit sin. John 5 verses 28 through 29 Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which that all that are in the graves shall hear his voice and shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Do you see what Jesus just said? At the end, at Judgment Day, those who have done good go to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil go to the resurrection of damnation. If your works are good and you obey God, you will go to the resurrection of life. But if your works are evil and you commit sin, you will go to the resurrection of damnation. Matthew 13, 41 through 43. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all lawbreakers, all the breakers of God's law, and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. He who has ears, let him hear. Here we see again God sending out His angels on Judgment Day and they gather up 
all the lawbreakers and the sinners and throw them into the furnace of fire, but the righteous will go to the kingdom of their father. Matthew 13, 47 through 50. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a fishing net that was thrown into the water and caught fish of every kind. When the net was full, they dragged it up onto the shore, sat down, and sorted the good fish into crates, but threw the bad ones away. That is the way it will be at the end of the world. The angels will come and separate the wicked people from the righteous, throwing the wicked into the fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Again, God will separate the wicked from the righteous, and he will cast those who are wicked and sinners into hell. Matthew 25, 31 through 46. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world. For I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in, naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee, a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall ye also say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was a hungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in, naked, and ye clothed me not, sick and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger, or thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Jesus says that at his coming, he's going to separate all people into two groups. Those who did as Jesus commanded and loved their neighbor went to heaven. And those who disobeyed Jesus' command and didn't love their neighbor went to everlasting punishment. Many Christians believe that we will all sin till the day we die. We're all flawed and imperfect. But as the verses we just looked at, the sinners will be cast into the fiery furnace. But the righteous and those who obey God will go to everlasting life. Romans 2.13 For merely listening to the law doesn't make us right with God. It is obeying the law that makes us right in His sight. James 2 verse 24 So you see, we are shown to be right with God by what we do, not by faith alone. 1 John 2 verses 3 through 4 And we can be sure that we know Him if we obey His commandments. If someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey God's commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. Acts 10 verses 34 through 35, then Peter replied, I see very clearly that God shows no favoritism. In every nation, He, except those who fear Him, and do what is right. Matthew 5 verse 20, For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. 
And then 1 John 3, verses 7 through 8. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. We must be righteous in order to enter into heaven. And as the verse said, he who does what is right is righteous. Remember that God will judge you by your works. And that according to Matthew 7.23, those who break God's laws, he will tell to depart from him. If you are a sinner and are breaking God's laws, now is the time to get right with him. Cry out to him today and confess your sins to God and then forsake them and obey God's word. Get ready for judgment day because tomorrow may be too late.